Welcome to Learning Music Hub. An animated approach in music theory, made clear and easy to understand. In lesson 4, you will be learning about the ledger line notes. If you want to read and learn notes quickly, you may always refer to this video and follow on all of our lessons. The Ledger Line Notes After mastering the above mnemonics for the staff notes, like the face, Every good boy does fine. All cows eat grass. Good boys do fine always. The next step is to master the notes above and below the staff. But the problem is, as we combine all those simple mnemonics in a grand staff successively, we will notice that there's no place already for the higher and lower notes of the staff. But the solution is, to solve this five-line limitation, we need to acknowledge the role of the ledger lines. Ledger lines are short individual lines added above or below the staff. Since a staff is limited only into five long parallel lines, the ledger lines have now the effect of extending the staff. It has the same distance apart as the lines of the staff. Extending the five line staff to six, seven, or more lines, offering a place for the notes above and below each staff. You can, of course, read notes in the spaces between ledger lines just like you read notes in the spaces between the staff lines. Ledger lines are short individual lines that extends the staff. Let's recognize the notes above the staff. On the space above the staff is the G. First ledger line is A. On the space above the first ledger line is B. On the second ledger line above is C. And on the space above the second ledger line of the treble clef staff is D. And on the third ledger line of the treble clef staff is E. And on the space above the third ledger line of your treble clef staff is F. And on the fourth ledger line above your treble clef staff is your G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Let's recognize those notes below the treble clef staff. Below is the D. First ledger line below is the C. On the space below the first ledger line is B. On the second ledger line below the staff is A. On the space below the second ledger line is the G. On the third ledger line below the treble clef staff is your F. Below the third ledger line is E. D, C, B, A, G, F, and E. Let's recognize those notes above the bass clef staff. Above the bass clef staff space is the B. The first ledger line on your bass clef staff is your C. And on the space above the first ledger line is the D. On the second ledger line of your bass clef staff is E. And on the space above your 
second ledger line is F. And on the third ledger line of your base level staff is your G. And the space above the third ledger line is the A. And on the fourth ledger line of your base left staff above is the B. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. Now let's recognize those notes below the bass clef staff. On the space below the bass clef staff is your F. First line below the bass clef staff is E. On the space below the first line of your bass clef staff is D. On the second line below your bass clef staff is C. On the space below the second line of your bass level staff is B. And on the third ledger line below your bass level staff is A. And on the space below your bass level staff on the third line is G. F, E, D, C, B, A, and G. Let's pause for a while and look into the summary and diagram of ledger lines on bass clef and treble clef with its corresponding piano key. A piano key is the best illustration to understand ledger lines. It may look difficult to understand at first glance, but it's very easy to name the notes. Recognizing the middle C, all you have to do is to keep moving up or down the musical alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Another problem is that for the beginning students, they will find too much ledger line as very complicated and will soon find themselves confused. But the solution for this problem a good approach is needed in order for them to easily learn gradually and master the ledger lines. As a beginner, you shouldn't be too concerned about the very high and low ones. Your focus should be mainly on the lines and spaces on the staff and the middle C. Then, you gradually add ledger lines as you progress. Learning happens one step at a time and there's no need to rush. There are tips in recognizing ledger line notes fast. Master and familiarize only the first two notes of the above and below the staff of both treble or G clef. Those are the G and the A above your treble clef and below are the D and the C. And for the bass clef staff, are the B and the C, and below the bass clef staff, are the F and the E. The succeeding notes for the first two notes that you master will easily be recognized later. The notes above the treble clef staff are G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Just remember the G and the A, which are the first two notes of your treble clef staff. How about the notes below the staff? Those are the C, C, B, A, G, F, and E. Just remember the D and the C. Let's recognize the notes above the bass clef staff. And those are B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Just remember the B and the C. How about the notes below the bass clef staff? Those are the F, E, D, C, B, A, and G. Just remember the F and the E. How to avoid ledger lines? In piano music, multiple ledger lines can make sight reading difficult. 
to solve this problem? They are often bypassed and other methods are used. These methods include the octave commands. Those are the octava, quindicissima, ottava bassa, and quindicissima bassa. For more information, please refer to Learning Music Hub Music Theory Lesson Number 6, 7, and 8 for the octave study. Take advantage of this best and free music app only here in YouTube. Learning Music Hub, an animated approach, made clear and easy to understand. You can possess all these music lessons. Just click like, subscribe, and click on the bell button so that you can always get updated with all of our great music lessons that's coming in your way. Thank you.